it's 12 a.m. as I'm making this, but I felt like it was more fitting to make this while I'm sleep deprived because it's gonna be a bumpy road. If I show up a little dark on this video, I apologize. My ring light got broken by my roommate's cats. We have a new one on the way, but this video is just gonna be me dark. If you wanna see me in a well-lit area, just go to my Instagram at Carter Kench. I'm actually pretty thick on there. One of the many wonders of being on social media pretty much my entire life is I have loads upon loads of footage of my past self doing extremely embarrassing things that I can just look back on and cringe. Hints as to why my TikTok username is Cringe Carter. Fetus Carter was a real hustler. I'm really hoping there's nothing too bad. What am I kidding? There's definitely something worse. I just want to apologize in advance. I'm sorry. That's really all I can say. Let's just start the video. <laughs> the first video I want to check out is actually a video of me reacting to old videos. Ooh. Oh my god, just looking at the thumbnail. Reacting to and recreating my cringe dance videos. It only has 6,000 views because I archived it. I would just like to say I hate noses. I think they suck. Like, how does that even work? The fact that nothing's changed. <laughs> but I have good news, I have surgery literally in five days. Good evening, everyone. Before we get into the video- Oh my gosh, what is this outfit? And my hair? I was going through my twink era. I even lit a candle! I had the worst habit of just lighting a candle and never blowing it out. A while back, like three, four years ago, I used to post dance videos. <laughs> this account brings back so many memories. Like, I met the Backpack Kid and literally danced with him. The Backpack Kid! Oh, that is a sacred memory in my heart. Sophomore year of high school, I was 16 at the time. Backpack Kid was blowing up for doing the floss. Fortnite just made him a dance. And I kid you not, I made my mom drive me. 30 minutes to a mall in Atlanta, Georgia for the sole purpose of meeting this kid and dancing with him. And I did, and it was awesome. And then afterwards we all went to this shoe store Foot Locker and I pretended to be a huge shoe nerd just to fit in. And they're like, you wanna try these? You wanna cop them? And I'm like, yeah, man, I got you. The price tag on the shoe was like $200. I immediately regretted all of my decisions and put it back. I thought I peaked, I really did. I could literally just go to sleep and never wake up and be happy. Obviously that's changed by now, but you know what? We're just gonna let youth Carter have his moment. There were definitely a lot of interesting things that happened on this account. Ayo and Teo reposted some of my videos. Oh my gosh, I forget about this era. What? So Ayo and Teo, literally the people that was like, I just want to rolly 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 with the dabberanch. I just want some ice on my wrist so I look better when I dance. I mean, looking at it put you in a trance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I still get carried away to this day. One day I decided, you know what? I want to be recognized by somebody that has some notoriety. So I prop up my phone on our backyard porch and I decide to just go ham. And I sit there for, I kid you not, 25 minutes it's just dancing over and over again until I get one, but I got the repost. There was a period where I just made bad videos. I would describe them as like a clickbait thumbnail on YouTube. Justification for this before it plays is it was trending on Instagram. Before Reels was even a thing, this is what was getting views on the Explore page. What the? No one. <gasps> I am speed. See? I tell no lies. I was 15 and I was getting 25,000 views for putting a VCR in the back of my head. But can we be real for a second? My editing skills were kind of hitting. I guess we have to learn it. Oh my god. Why am I more cringe learning the dance than I am doing it? Dear gosh. Why am I cringing at this person? Ah! The sauce bottle. I wanted it ring toss at Six Flags. That's all I'd like to say. I think I threw away the sauce bottle. This will be our sauce bottle. I know you don't want to participate in this. Either. You guys look really similar. Oh my God, this is so much work. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Jack. Jack! I think that's the best it's gonna get. I'm sorry, Jack, you can go back to your corner. I'm not gonna lie, that one hurt. Yeah, that one hurt to watch. It was eighth grade, we were in the dance unit in PE and this was the dance that they taught us. This is my first ever video. Oh my gosh, this was the start of it all. It's the watermark. Carter Kench dance? Oh my gosh, are you really gonna download my video and repost it? Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and put a watermark on it so you can never ever take it and pretend it's you. Oh my god, was this my duck face era? This was my duck face era. I do not associate myself with the person you are seeing on screen. I miss my room. Oh my gosh. Alien mural and my Duncan bed and my cloud wall. Yeah, my parents sold that house. And within the first three days of the new buyers, I went back to see if they still had my room up and it was all just painted white. Oh my gosh, I think I sat in my car just on the side of the street and just bawled. I made a video to Juju on the beat. Do I want to watch it? Yes. 
<laughs> Did anybody go to church camp growing up in middle school? Because for some reason, every time I went, like, there was always a group of us that just wanted to dance. Even if it was the gospel, we still figured out how to whip a nene to it. Was that disrespectful? It didn't come off as disrespectful. I don't think I was in seventh grade. Juju on the beat took everybody by storm. I still know it by heart. I don't even need the music. Walked in this party and these girls looking at me. Skinny jeans on and you know my hair nappy. A, 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 A. Okay, okay. I want you to do the, do the dance now. Juju on the beat. I think I'm just adding to a list of things I'm gonna embarrass my future self for. It seems to be a repeating pattern at this point. You got a big ol', big ol', big ol' booty. <gasps> big ol', big ol', big ol' booty. What you think? What you think? What you think? One, I am wearing ski pants in the younger version of myself's video. Two, in the same video, I'm wearing my grandpa's fishing hat. And three, what the hell is that? I get a couple comments asking why I started working out. Maybe it was just because I wanted to, I don't know, not look like that. What is that? That's me? Really? <laughs> okay, this one's kind of funny. I'm pretty sure you guys can get an idea for how much the Backpack Kid was my inspiration. Just look at the comparison between my outfits from like high school versus COVID. <laughs> I think it's time for a fit check. Coming in hot, we got high school Carter with some fresh slides, some socks, some shorts that he definitely got in middle school, and a golf shirt that his dad brought home to him from a business trip. The running whip, no. During my cringe dance era, I tried to make viral dance moves. None of them went viral. This is true. Another thing I'd like to point out is, uh, again, the outfit changes. We got some prison break inspired sweatpants, which I actually did wear to school. Probably one of my favorite videos, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I clowned it. Did I, did I clown it? I made that at my high school while there were people around. No. My best friend Kate Mulroy, shout out to you Kate Mulroy. She involuntarily helped me film that one and I'll never forget it was like my most iconic video at the time. I was so excited to do it. I actually had no idea when she was recording so I was just sitting there doing a bunch of dabs over and over again for about a good three minutes until she came back outside telling me she got the clip. Okay, I can't take any more of this. I do have a lot of old videos that are not just me reacting. I vlogged my very first day of sophomore year of high school. I didn't even know I did that. Suffering through high school is what I called it. Girl, get a grip. It's the first day of school. Let's do it. Oh, this was my Emma Chamberlain wannabe era. Everybody had this. I'm not even going to act like it was just a me thing. I know at least 10% of the people watching this made a video or two. We can just confess and move on. You're so quirky. You love toothpaste. I would just like to say, I was 15. I was low-key iconic. Oh my god, the backpack! This is my speaker backpack that I literally wore to school and it had a speaker built in so I used to just blast music and nobody ever knew it was me because I didn't carry a speaker. And during class I used to just start blasting music. I was such a troubled kid, but to be fair, I had wild ADHD. The principal ended up threatening me, saying if I didn't buy a normal backpack, I would have to spend five days in in-school suspension. Yeah, it was a good run. I will be honest, that backpack was so just inconvenient. Basically my backpack has to be charged in order for the speaker to work on it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this is my outfit of the day. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. I was straight during this. In this picture, you can kind of see them. I have orange Adidas NMDs, and those are the shoes that I wore. I have orange Adidas NMDs, and those are the shoes that I wore. No, we're done. Can't take it. That's, no, too much. Quite the update for you. So it appears my computer's no longer working. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out how to fix my computer, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and comment if you wanna see a part two, because this was really fun, and I have so many more videos just like it that are just waiting to be resurfaced. With that being said, I love you all, and I'll see you next Friday for a brand new video. Bye!